if you're having recurrent pregnancy loss, you definitely need to get blood work ordered for sure. Really digging into like autoimmune factors. So even if your thyroid looks normal, I'd say get a full thyroid panel done and make sure they test your thyroid antibodies. You know, you're, mm-hmm. you can have a normal TSH level, but your thyroid antibodies can still be off, which is kind of like a precursor mm-hmm. of like what's coming. It's like something's going on there. Test for antiphospholipid syndromes, APS. So this is like a whole range of testing that you can get done. This is an autoimmune disorder where the immune system mistakenly produces antibodies against proteins bound to phospholipids and phospholipids are components of like your cell membranes. So this increases the risk of abnormal blood clot formation in your arteries and veins. So could you have like a clotting disorder, right? Mm -hmm. So if you have increased clotting, this can lead to blood clots causing like stroke, deep vein thrombosis or other clot related conditions. It causes pregnancy complications. So associated Mm -hmm. with recurrent pregnancy loss, um, preterm deliveries, conditions like preeclampsia. And there's like different kinds. So you can have like primary versus secondary APS. So does it occur on its own or is it alongside another autoimmune condition such as like lupus? So usually the blood tests are what diagnose it and it, cause it can um, test for these antibodies, you know, just like the thyroid antibodies. This is how you test. You start testing for antibodies for certain conditions to see if your body's developed these antibodies against it. Right. And then they'll usually put you on blood thinners for this. So low dose uh, aspirin or heparin, like low molecular heparin um, is a big one. Like there's all these like little tiny, like tests. And it's like a huge panel. There's like a huge, like a huge list that you're going to be like, whatever, Carly, <laughs> but I can send you that huge. Yes. And they'll, they'll know like the doctor, like if you just said, I need to be tested for like, do a clotting and thrombophilia panel, or, you know, I need an APS panel done. A lot of times doctors with recurrent loss, like especially for like the APS panel, they'll order it as well. And then what you want to get is like other autoimmune and inflammatory markers tested. So anti-nuclear antibodies are one. And if those are positive, that's like, okay, like, you know, it can be associated with things like lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, things like that. So if those are like positive, then they're, they'll start being like, okay, we need to run other like specific markers to start figuring out what it is. Um, yeah. There is a specific test for rheumatoid factor as well. Um, also C-reactive protein is a great test. It's a good test for like inflammation and can be associated with other things. 